Hi, I'm Melina Barber, my husband Paul Barber. We're at our restaurant, Flying Rhino Cafe in Worcester, Mass. We are going to create a beef wellington that is the piece de resistance for your holiday dinner. All right, first thing we want to do is get our tenderloin, get a nice Chateau Brion, which is the center cut of the tenderloin, the very tenderest part of the cow. And we're just going to season it lightly, salt, and obviously cracked fresh pepper. So we get a nice hot pan going over here, a little olive oil. Take our tenderloin. We're going to get a nice sear going. Be very careful. And we're just going to keep rolling it over. See that nice brown color? Kind of really sear it in. So I'll even do a little trick of searing the ends. And now the other end. Okay, got that nice color all the way around. Put it right onto a cooling rack. So now we're gonna let it cool and leave it for Melina to do her work. So the components of a beef wellington are of course the beef tenderloin. Uh, it's wrapped in puff pastry with a layer of mushroom duxelle. We're gonna work on our mushroom duxelle, which is rough chopped mushrooms. I have approximately about three or so cups. I have a medium sized onion, I have a whole shallot. So I'm also adding a half a stick of butter and a little bit of maybe quarter cup or so of sherry. I'm gonna process that. We really want it to become fine, really ground up. All right, it's starting to do its thing. So as that's doing its thing, I'm gonna get my thyme ready to go and I just hold the end of the stem and pull off those tiny little leaves. So we want to get a good maybe tablespoon or so. Pop that in there. I also have a couple tablespoons of parsley. Put that in there. A little bit of pepper. And about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're gonna set that on a pan. Still have some big chunks of butter, but they're gonna melt in that oven, so we're not really worrying about that. I'm gonna spread this out and get that right into the oven. So our duck cell is all set, cooled, and ready to go for our next application. I'm gonna get my puff pastry dough that I bought at the market, and it's not quite long enough to wrap my tenderloin, so I'm just gonna press the two together. And now I'm gonna spread my mushroom duck cell. Lay that right there, and we're gonna smear some Dijon mustard all over it. A little spice to it. Okay, so now we're gonna roll this right up. We're gonna flip it over, and then fold these sides up as well. Do the super flip. Now we want to kind of make it really pretty. So I'm taking this extra sheet of puff pastry and I'm going to make a few strips for vines and then some leaf shapes so that it kind of makes a really pretty presentation. Embellish as much as you like or keep it really simple with just some cross hatch lines. Get one more of these guys and then I'm going to egg wash it so that it gets a nice color. You use the knife as well to kind of create a leaf look. Okay, so we have an egg wash here, just a little bit of water and egg. I'm using my hand because I want to be delicate and I want to get in and out of all these little crevices. And some of the pieces that maybe didn't stick so well, I'm going to get underneath. All right, and this baby's ready for the oven. So we're gonna check that in about 10 minutes. We want an internal temperature of about a 125. It's gonna rest, go to 130, which will give us a perfect medium rare. So we are gonna make a horseradish sauce where we take sour cream. We do a Greek yogurt. Of course, the horseradish, you need that. And then a fair amount of mustard. We'll give this a little mix up, a little extra. Layer of flavor, one, two, three, Worcestershire sauce, and a little salt and pepper. Mix that in, 
and now we'll go check the tenderloin to see if we're up to temp. Wrap, baby. There she is. Looks good. So I have baby root vegetables and some Brussels sprouts that Paul is putting on our platter for presentation. So this thing's ready to plate. We're going to slice it table side. We'll go right down the middle. Oh yeah, beautiful, medium rare. We're putting our Dijon horseradish cream sauce along the plate. And I'm going to slice it up just like a nice English cut, kind of like half inch slice right down. And just use your knife as a spatula. Looks great. And here we go with our beef wellington. Happy holidays.